All right, what's going on, guys? We're currently in Shepherd's Garage. Got Jake over there, the owner, help me do some work on the car real quick. And so far, we got the bumper coming out, so almost done with that. All right, so for the bumper right here, we're gonna actually replace the front two fog light lamps, fog light lamp grills, actually. So these are going on right now. And for reference, this whole bumper does not have to come off to put these in. They could just slide right in from the first place. I'll go all the way in. No, there's so many tabs here at the moment. So let's see. Also, even hold. Yeah. Dang. I think you like zip tie to something. Or. I could. I could really like a little pivot hole to the bottom. Yeah. Zip tie it. Yeah, that should work. This side looks like it's pretty good, I think. So I should just got a whole new bumper, essentially. I think this side's on pretty decently. It's gonna drill into this side to actually hold it down because the bumper can't actually clip into the, the grill itself. All right, so we decided to zip tie it down, but we don't have black zip ties, so we're spray painting it. All right, so that wasn't too bad. Got the bumper going back on. Have both new fog light grills in. Looks 10 times better. And these also have the honeycomb grill inside them as well, so definitely adds to the look. Yeah, it's already looking 10 times better. Got the left one in, finally got that. All in now is the lower splitter. And that's really it, paint job, a couple other things. All right, so the bumper all taken care of, getting the fender liner back on right now. Just gotta slap these wheels on real quick and then this should be pretty much good to go. And then we'll do a little bit of engine touch up, some body work, all type of stuff. We got an all purpose cleaner, the greaser, the green star. Towel and brush. You're gonna. Are you gonna take a towel? You're gonna go. Oh, yeah, it's brand new. It's brand new. I call me. Like, yep. And they don't like try to bust my balls or anything I'm like that. I give them like three glazes and shit. It's a graphene, so it's strong. Let's see. What's that product right there? Graphene VRT by Adams. Really fucking good. So, okay. And go and just rub it in. You know what VRT stands for? Nah. Vinyl rubber trim. So do everything. It does everything. And if you want to be like, you know, like you don't want too much greasy, like not like a glaze. It's not really greasy. Mm. Not much you can pat it dry. Oh yeah, that's shiny. It's another one that's very clear. Yo, it's like ASMR. <laughs> the little like Russian girl, she's like Bentley. Oh, like, with the nails and stuff, yeah. like making a noise. <laughs> like Bentley. <laughs> Mercedes. See, it's already lifting off all your dirt. Yeah, damn. Spaces. How you handle tight spaces? When it's tight, you spread it out, no matter what. Man, how can you hit like ASMR on TikTok or something uh, like that, bro? Uh, this, <laughs> this right here. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the money shot right here. <laughs> Strut. Strut. How long take you to detail usually? Huh? Like, how long? Like, 
How long does it usually take? Yeah, it depends on how bad the car is. It can take upwards of like, it can take a full day. Like, yeah. pain correction and all that takes a day. Yeah. Right, so this is 2011. This is? Yeah. I don't know what Same, bro. Just because it was up north and uh, the oxygen and tree, right? But I think the previous owner, he took good care of it high key. Yeah. For the most part. Damn, this look good on camera. Hold up. Sheesh. All right, this is the after shot right here. This is actually beautiful. Oh my gosh. All right, I got the engine bay all cleaned up. Looking spotless. Appreciate you. Are you trying to dab me up there? Hmm? Are you trying to dab me up there or not? No, I was just like, I got you. Oh, shoot. I mean, it's okay. You're going to leave me out. Not my bad, bro. I was, I was thinking about it. I was like, damn. <laughs> Alright, I got the half and half. Yeah, this is a hundred times better. Sheesh. Bro, these are like literal rust spots in the hood, so you can't really buff that out, but golly. That is shiny. Alright, so I got everything polished down. You can actually see the, the spec on here as well. Now, I probably do need a new hood, new bumper, new doors, trunk, side skirts, roof, everything like that at some point in time, but you gonna keep rocking with this, but yeah, this looks good. All right, this is Jake, owner of Shepherd's Detail, garage through everything. Everything, all in one. Detailing, you need parts on your car, anything like that, hit them up. All right, here go the business car right here. If you're in the Denny area, he can definitely hook you up. Detailing, motorcycle, any parts you need installed, you can do all of it, so hit them up. All right, so it is currently a week later and I did not film an ending to this video, so I'm actually show you guys how everything is looking. All right, so for a quick glance, everything looks 10 times better, especially with the, the new honeycomb grills at the bottom. It might be a tad bit dark in here, so you can't really see it, but um, it definitely adds much more to the appeal. All right, so this is the old fog light grill right here. And as you take a closer look, it doesn't have any of the honeycomb effect inside of it. So, so the only thing this grill had was just the fins, and then it had a chrome fog light cover. This one is all blacked out. On both sides and now the grill actually matches the the front grill the front honeycomb grill so it all matches up now only thing i need now is the the uh front splitter or the front spoiler goes right there below the main grill but as of right now it looks really really good i can actually like back the car into parking spots now and you know people can actually see the front end it all kind of matches up plus we had a slight detail on the hood definitely looking much much better Still a lot of different rust spots in there. This actually needs a whole new paint job or if anything, we'll sand it down and wrap it up. But it needs a lot more work done to it. But thankfully, he was able to clip a lot of small scratches. So it definitely looks more organized now. And I gotta say, like from when I got the car to where it is now, this is absolutely beautiful. I have all the front grills separate from the front of the spoiler in there. And it all matches up. The bumper is no longer sagging. So I got the clips on the side. Like when you show a car guy these clips, they think it's like on purpose, but this is literally the only thing supporting the bumper, but it does look pretty cool though. So all in all, the car is coming together very nicely. Got the engine bay detailed as well. So a lot of good stuff going on. All right guys, I have more content coming up soon. A lot more things need to get done. Uh, if you guys wanna see those videos, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out. And I also just hit 500 subscribers on my channel. I'm very, very thankful for that. It's been a long time coming, been grinding for what last year and a half. So glad I'm seeing some progress. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. When you become a new subscriber, part of family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Drop a like. And if you have any questions about the car, what I do, anything like that, drop them down in the comment section below. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.